Alright guys, so the update came out today. Definitely a lot, a lot to figure out. Uh, my favorite thing, without a doubt though, the balance changes. That's a big reason why I've been having a ton of fun flying the fish. And uh, he was pretty unusable before. But I'm not even lying, I think I went 6-1 or 7-1 in Power League with him today. And like Masters Power League. And for context, like, their comp should counter us like very hard. Like... All their brothers are very good into ours. Um, and uh, yeah, you can see we do have positioning though. And I think positioning is so, so broken right now. So my job on the fish is to do that. Like catch someone just out of position. They do have a Macy though, so you can kind of do that. And uh, I almost get the B here, 8 HP. I probably would have died to the Macy still, but you can see it is slightly winnable, even though it looks like absurd. <laughs> so earlier in the day, me and Patchy actually did this and we won as well. That was a pretty funny game. We're calling it the Surf and Turf, the Doug and the Fish. Cheppo was on board. He went the Poco too. Nice play from Cheppo there, sneaking on the B. Unfortunately, does not quite finish him off, but uh, he almost did. He's on the heel, the Capo, so you know he can't super them. But you know it was really close as well. Doug's not much for finishing people off either. And uh, yeah, you can see we're against corner here. But I am looking, so you'll see I'm charging the bubble backwards or like just not like facing towards the enemies. Um, it's to catch them off guard, sort of. So I see Patchy getting low here as well. I'm gonna go cover for him. And uh, you can see the crow does overextend and I just pop him like right away. Fish does a lot of damage right now. And uh, they do have two people that I can pretty much one-shot. Like, with damage gear, I think I can one-shot both of them, honestly. So, 3v2, but uh, their comp is much better. Definitely trolls by going... Okay, he misses his knockback there. So, it is free for Patchy at that point. But, <laughs> we do manage to take a set with the Doug and the Hank. And I was hoping... I know I can just one-shot them, so I don't need a face check. And I just one-shot them. <laughs> It's so funny. I don't know how much damage it does now, um, the super, but I'm pretty sure you can, like, you can one shot a Frank, right? Um, and you can see, at this point, it's kind of over. We're just celebrating a little bit. Well played. The Surf and Turf strikes again. Um, and, uh, yeah, just gonna finish the B off once it shoots. Okay, he was holding his shield to so die. Bro does not want to lose. Give me that KD. And yeah, the Surf and Turf is gonna take game one. All right, now in game two, they kind of use their brains a little more and they figure that uh, they can't play side to side because we'll get positioned. So the B does a good job and he goes down our lane, which definitely makes it hard for us. Um, now the fish, his bubble does show up in bushes now. So uh, yeah, unfortunately I can't sneak and like just pop the bubble on them, but I think it makes sense like that, it's balanced. Uh, and my teammates are getting pretty low. They're having a tough time on the B. And uh, I'm looking to pinch someone. We get slowed though. And uh, it's pretty hard. <laughs> so they did a good job spacing us out, pinching us. And I'm not saying to go Doug Hank into every comp. But I think it can work into some comps. Like this is like three hard counters, right? So imagine if we had like better matchups. And uh, you can see I'm going to pop the shield there just to stay alive. No, I got to run at this point. Um, fortunately over there, yeah, round two was a little rough one. We adapt though, we adapt. Look, Ducky's spinning on us thinking he won, bro. And then, yeah, Crow's just going to go in and finish me. They're getting excited. They took a round, like, it's fine. All right, game number three. So yeah, obviously we got to switch it up. We're just rushing down their side. I think it's good. The B's on the other side, so it works out well. I'm going to go down the lane so we don't get, like, triple slowed or whatever. And uh, they are going to slow. Ducky does overextend there, though. I think I go for him or the B. Yeah, so the B is one here. So, oh, the crow's low in the corner, too. So I do manage to get the crow. You can see the range is, like, pretty deceiving on the Hank, honestly. So I do know that we need to get this position and just play around a wall. And uh, I'm being careful for the B. Uh, Chepel almost gets taken out. That thing does so much damage. But he's doing a good job just hanging alive. And I gotta start getting some positioning back. So, yeah, I'm kind of the only way to get a kill here. Look at that! 
<laughs> just one shot the B. Oh my god, let me see that one more time. It's so much damage, and he didn't have his shield, he just shot it. So just max range, one shot with damage gear. Hank is dangerous, guys, sometimes, sometimes. I'm telling you. It can either be really bad, like you have to learn when to pick it, and we can still lose this, by the way, very easily. Um, and that's me on Macy, I clutch this every single time. Unfortunately for Ducky, it's not me on the Macy. So, you know, it's looking a little better for us. I don't know about that. Bro was nervous, understood. Um... But yeah, so <laughs> we're all pretty excited about that one. That was a good round of win. And yeah, unfortunately, the B is going to be on the lane here. But I am going to like just try running it down because I'm thinking I can catch it out, like maybe in a corner or something like that. He plays it good, though. Chepo is doing a good job supporting me. Look at that healing from Doug. Literally like 6k healing. Now, I get close to the B again. He's keeping his distance a little better this time. We're just tanking for each other. Uh, when Patchy gets low, I tank. When I get low, Patchy tanks. Patchy's always healing. So, it's a cool comp. <laughs> you guys can try it on ladder. Maybe you save the PL. Dougie's gonna miss. You do get a movement speed with Hank as well. Um, so, I will catch him off guard. Now, the Macy, I think, is the biggest threat to us. But this is definitely really hard for them. <laughs> because, you know, it's Doug on a map without grass. So, Apache's just gonna tank it as he stay alive. He barely does. Chepo keeping it alive. Good try, good try. Um, and here, I think if he's on Screech, he can win. But he's not on Screech. So, it's definitely gonna be hard to finish a shield B off. Almost does it. Good try, Chepo. Nobody knows the new damages. It just came out today, so it's pretty hectic. You're just guessing half the time. Someone looks low enough, you go for it. Good try by Chepo there. And, uh, yeah, this time we're gonna run down here as well. We use that movement speed to catch up a little bit, and we'll just pop Ducky nice and easy. So good pinch from Chepo going wide there, kind of forcing him into the corner. Patchy did a good job tanking and just kind of getting the attention on him. Snuck up with the fish bubble, <laughs> just like that. It's so satisfying, man. I really am enjoying playing this brawler. All right, guys, let's fast forward a little bit. Next game is going to be Knockout on Bell's Rock. This is probably my favorite Hank map. You can be so a lot of maps you can see even on the last one um it's just about positioning right once you're in position in position uh you can kind of control the pace of the game and everything and uh you can see once i get here luckily all the walls don't break but i just need like a few walls to play around and the gray is just gonna stay alive i'll manage to take him out though so you really got to use the movement speed with hank and i've learned that hank pairs really well i think with a uh, healer Something like a Byron, a Jean, uh, even Poco, Doug. I think he pairs really well with all of them because it's a brawler you don't want to stop shooting on. Uh, just because you're kind of like existing when you're not. When you're healing, you're just kind of like sitting there. <laughs> I just spin like that for fun. There's no. It's just funny. Like, look at it. It just looks so silly. But uh, good try by the goat. And uh, we do have a gush shield as well. So I think I can hit like. I don't know the exact damage, but I'm pretty sure it's like 5,500 or something. We'll see right here. Okay, I, I missed, so we won't see right here, unfortunately. And, uh, yeah, looking to finish off the gray here. Go on, get the kill on the gray. And Gene's going to do a nice job cleaning up on the Piper. I think this is definitely losable for us, so I need to make sure. Byron's pretty decent right now, um, just from my first impression, playing against it a bit. Uh, I definitely notice the super recharge rate. I thought Byron was alright before, but um, now I think it's like pretty playable on a lot of maps. So yeah, just gotta take it slow. I notice I'm getting taken down pretty low, and I just need to regen. And uh, at this point, we just run at him at the same time. Good little pull. We'll use the bubble, and we'll win round one. Alright guys, round number two. Now this one, they do make an adjustment. I think the Byron goes mid. Um, and, you know, Byron is more of a threat to me than Gray. Gray doesn't really do any damage. So, even when I'm on like, something like a Fang, I love playing against Gray. I thought that could hit. If that hits, I definitely just win my lane. Uh, and I'll use the movement speed to dodge the Gray hook as well. So here... I get the Byron one, I pop my shield, I get him one, I need Simp to Sophia to hit one shot, unfortunately, uh, doesn't work out that well, that's okay. I think it was still fine, 
overall. Um, it was close. You know, one shot hit there, and we kill at least one of them, I think. But it's okay. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go down round two. I'm gonna do. I think I might go on the gray lane this time. I can't remember. No, I go mid again. Um, and yeah, but I do like playing with the gene because, like I said, I can just kind of spam, shoot, pop my bubble, whatever you want to call it. And uh, the Byron does cancel healing, though. He has that star power. I forget what it's called, but it uh, really like makes your healing slow down for a while. Fortunately, uh, oh, I do get the shield there. Look at that. It does 5,500 damage. <laughs> Uh, and Gray does have the thing where it's like you do reduce damage with the first hit. That's why I didn't do that much there. But <laughs> one-shotting the Byron at 5500 HP is pretty funny to see. Alright guys, game number three. Um, so yeah, unfortunately we couldn't really... They were pinching me pretty good that round. So I couldn't really get control as much as I wanted. So I'm going to take my chances on Gray lane here. I know I can wiggle. You do get movement speed when moving towards... Your opponent and uh, I'm not looking to hit like every bubble obviously but uh, I am I do need to back off there I'll tank for the gene as well if gray wants to try TPing you'll die so you can kind of see we're just uh, cutting the aggro he's gonna miss a gray gadget I'll take him out and uh, yeah we did get a lot of value there he's like multiple gadgets and uh, Sophia played really good on the other side as well so this one's looking a lot cleaner um, like I said, I can wiggle. I do get a movement speed. It feels like the hitbox on Hank is very large. He is a big boy. But uh, when you get that movement speed, you can get kind of slimy. The bubble kind of throws people off too, I think. So i got to be careful. Um, I'll usually push up if I'm above like 6k HP. But uh, nice kill from Simpto Sophia there as well and at this point the game is definitely ours to lose just need to block for uh, my gene here he is pretty low um but the byron gets a really good super and does take him out so i'm gonna look to finish off the gray and uh we do have control which is really nice if the gray ever tps in uh, i just pop my super and i'll like one shot him so it's as long as we don't feed the byron here i think it's really good since sophia played this one really good though and uh, yeah, Byron knows it's over there. The fish with the gush shield, and they're gonna take that one as well. All right, guys. Now this is one we have absolutely no business winning, in my opinion. Um, second's gonna be on the Sam. We got the goat back on the Gene. He played good last one. I'm gonna be on the fish, and uh, yeah, at this point, like the Lou should just be able to one v three us pretty easily. I think. Um, Unfortunately, like right there, if I hit Ducky, it's so good, but I troll pretty hard because I miss and then I just, you know, so this one's on me and I think it's really hard, like once I get supers, um, for us to really win because they have like Mr. P super, like Tickhead, like Lou super, so it's just like really hard to push in. The start of the game is we need to win the first round, in my opinion, like almost like 100% we need to win the first round if we're going to win the game. Um, and yeah, you can just see here, like, we get ducky, we almost, <laughs> I get stuck in the wall here, like, I can't move, well, I don't even know how I got pulled back there, that was kind of wild, Tick does a lot of damage now, everyone does, we can just forget about that, go round two. Alright guys, game number two, like I said, just forget about that one, scratch it off, as a loss, don't let it ruin the mental, go next, uh, so yeah. Gonna be just seconds doing a good job. Everyone's focusing on him. Gene is pushing up. Oh, he stays alive at 100 HP. Gets Mr. P in the corner. Well played by second best there. And uh, we gotta make sure we both don't get like Lou Supered or something. And uh, yeah, you can see we're against Ducky again. Ducky's had a really rough day in the Power League. I, I don't know, I beat him a lot with the Hank. Um, he is going to get a super, but at this point, he doesn't have enough damage. I can almost get him through that wall. If he's hugging the wall, I can get him, I think. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to build up my super. He didn't want to give Gene pull, which is the right uh, call. Gene gets pull, and uh, we pull Lou and the other two. They can't kill us. So, yeah, definitely the right call here as well. And I'm looking to just bait out the Lou super here. 
They are going to get the penguins up. I can one-shot penguins. Um, so yeah, that's nice. But uh, I'm going to focus Ducky. And I get him one. Second's going to do a good job. It is a 2v2 at this point. So I think that's all right. Like, we do have gene pull. We have position. Ducky's in the back of the map. They do have penguins, though, which is really annoying. And, uh, you know, he is going to be able to just take out second here as well. So, you know, it was hard. It's a really hard game, honestly. Like, <laughs> it is a very... We have no business winning this game, in my opinion. Um, but it is 1-1, so, you know, it's definitely winnable. And we just need to get that one pick, kind of. We do have Gene Pull, too. It is hard with the Penguins out. Um, but... Yeah, we're going to see here just what we can cook. I can one-shot the penguins, though, which is very nice, like I said earlier. And because not every bubble is going to hit, I really don't mind doing that every time. So when the Lou is pinching over there, I get good value here, and I one-shot the tick head. So I know the Lou is kind of pinching second. I got to push up, kill someone. Nice gene pull, though. I don't even do anything, honestly. Like, my teammates, like, their second's going crazy on the sand. Definitely watch, like, my tank video, like, my biggest fan, second best. So, well played by Mr. Second Best, and the GOAT hit a really good pull, too. The, probably one is that round. I did not... I wasn't fishing that one, honestly. Alright, guys. Game number three. Now, definitely winnable, like I said. We... I think we almost need to win the first round. Uh, because the second round is pretty hard when they all get supers, because there's no way... But I will get a nice early shot on Ducky. That's going to apply a lot of pressure. And uh, Gene's going to follow up with the gadget. And I think I killed the Mr. P too. So the fish is online here for sure. And uh, yeah, everyone has super on their team. So like I said, we need to win the first round. I hit some good shots there on the fish. You don't need to hit much, but you need to hit the good ones. All right, like you only need like one or two bubbles to hit, but they count. So Gonna push up here, try baiting out the Lou Super again. I get it, I just back off immediately. That is so good. He got zero char or zero supercharged. Second's gonna run them down on the other side because they're just focusing on me. And uh, second's gonna go crazy. At this point, just gotta not feed him. Gonna get in a position where we can just spawn trap him really easily. And uh, you know, we just have to kind of troll at this point to lose, I think. Because uh, it is a little Lou trying to peek a gene. <laughs> Ducky's not enjoying himself. Gotta make sure I don't overextend too much. Uh, I do want to finish it though. You know, we don't have to wait for the smoke every time. I'll go from the inside and just get a clean little kill there. And we're gonna finish it off. All right guys, that is going to be it for today's video. I am really enjoying playing this brawler. It is kind of a troll brawler, but I think it's actually usable in some situations. And I'm having fun figuring those out as well. Like I said, do not go Doug Hank every single game. Uh, we were just kind of limit testing and it worked, but you know. <laughs> Don't do it every single game. Um, but I think it definitely is pickable into like stuff that can't deal with a lot of high HP. Anyways, guys, please remember to like, subscribe, and use code OG in the shop as well. Thank you so much, guys. I'll see you next time. Peace.